I head coach Dan Hurley probably didn't get much sleep last night after that devastating one point loss to Davidson. He described it as like having your heart ripped out of your chest, thrown on the floor and having it stomped on. For more on the tough loss and how URI turns the page moving forward, here's Mark Dondero in this week's Inside Rhode Island Basketball segment. We could sit and sugarcoat it, but that's not what anyone's doing after URI's Wednesday night game against Davidson, especially not Dan Hurley. You know, it's, it's a disappointing loss. Uh, it, it's a, it, that was like having your heart ripped out of your chest and, and, and thrown on the floor and having it stomped on, you know, because, you know, we, we, we had them beat. Now, easily the downfall for URI on Wednesday night was the three-point line, where they shot a dismal one for 19. That's probably the part that's most gut-wrenching of all. If one of these three-pointers fall throughout the course of the game or just two more free throws, then Rhode Island wins. Instead, Kidd hits a three. Credit to Jack Gibbs, you know, for, for making that huge shot. Freshman misses a three. You know, and Jared has been, you know, awesome. You know, awesome. He's changed so much of our mentality as a team with his swagger and his confidence, but you know, the you know, thing you want to do there is, is deck that thing and drive it. And just like that, the game was lost, but all hope isn't. You or I can still make the NCAA tournament. They just need to keep winning. As hard as that and brutal as that was to lose, you got to keep your perspective and understand what we've been able to accomplish through 26. Mark Dondero, Eyewitness Sports. Thank you, Mark. So three games left in this regular season for Rhodey. They're on a four-way tie currently for first place. Saturday, they visit LaSalle. Then a huge game at Dayton Wednesday, March 4th. The home finale Saturday, March 7th against St. Joe's.